I'm going to show you the mod to uh, use this fogger, like the, they like to call it the spray, spray car, um, manually, so you don't have to use the remote control if you don't want. But first, we need to put some more water in this puppy. It doesn't hold very much. Can't really see. I th yep, that's, that's full. I thought it might have been. It takes like a, a quarter of this to uh, top it off. In fact, it's a little bit over full. Alright, hit the power button there. And there she goes. You can see it's spraying good. What I have here is um, three AA batteries, so 4.5 volts. I found that it will work clear down to 3 volts, however, so you can run it on just two AA batteries. If you're running the fogger and the two LEDs at 4.5 volts, it's going to draw, I'm looking it up here, 160 milliamps, which is quite a bit. It's as much as an old uh, heater type smoker in robot toys. If you run it at uh, 4.5 volts without the LEDs, it only draws 125 milliamps. So they're they're pumping about 35 milliamps into those two leads. We could cut those back with another dropping resistor if we wanted them on, but not sucking so much power. Now at three volts, just the fogger only, uh, it's drawing about 90 milliamps. That's pretty reasonable. That's that's low, and it's still kicks out a lot of fog at that. And if you run the LEDs at 3 volts at, and the fogger, the whole thing's 102 milliamps. And again, that's that's pretty reasonable. Now, as far as the mod goes to the board, I don't know how well this camera's going to focus in on things this small. I guess we're going to find out. Is it kind of focused? What we're talking about here, see my finger compared to these components? The small chip here, this is the one that drives the fogger along with this uh, transformer. This pin up here that you see this silver wire I've added, that's pin 1, then pin 2, and pin 3. Basically we're going to connect pin 1 and pin 3. Pin 1 is V+, plus, same as this red wire, same as this white wire. But before you connect them, you need to cut a trace. You'll see there's a small trace. And again, maybe if I put a light behind here, whether the camera can focus in, see where I, I think you can almost see it. If you count one, two, three, and you'll see a slice where it used to connect up to this uh, to this bigger chip, one, two, three from that end. You got to cut that connection there. That's uh, this is the remote control board. Normally, when you push that button on the remote control, it'll put a pulse out and would toggle this. That pin three on there is actually a toggle. If you don't want to hardwire it right now, if we cut that trace, put this jumper in. Anytime we supply power to the board, the fogger is going to turn on. But another way you can operate this whole thing is cut that trace and then instead of soldering this pin 3 to V plus, pin 1, just hook a wire to it and bring the wire out. Anytime you touch that wire to V plus you can turn the fogger on or if you touch again you can turn it off. In other words there's a latch circuit built in here and it simply changes from on to off state every time you toggle it by supplying a, a positive pulse to that. But I found by, by connecting 3 to 1, cutting that trace, I can just turn this board on and off to make the smoker work, which is would be the manual way of uh, of doing this. And it's a it's a good little smoker. All you lose is is water, which is easily replaced. I want to get everything in the picture here. Here we go. 